A more efficient way to do a pigment grind is with a cavitation mill. Using a small-scale version of an industrial cavitation mill enables artists to make their own paint in smaller quantities. The Mini Mix Cavitation Mill represents 18 months of design refinement by Tasmanian artist David Marsden in close consultation with Eugene Maxwell-Smith. It makes up to one litre of paint in one operation. The secret lies in the peripheral speed of the rotor blade, which ranges from 750 to 1500 metres per minute. This creates the sheer force required to break up the pigment into small discrete particles. Using the Minimix mill, Eugene is preparing to make a litre of high viscosity acrylic paint. Right, now following the uh, formula from our handbook, we'll now prepare the uh, um, acrylic artist paint with the use of the, uh, the mini mill. mil of the metal cellulose and we can put everything straight into the beaker and pre-mix this before it goes in to the mill. Propylene glycol about uh, 10 millilitres Surfactant at five, two, four, five. Uh, the pigment is one hundred and fifty two grams. Give that a little bit of a stir through. And then the calcium carbonate, that is the opacity medium for uh, making an opaque uh, acrylic paint. And then the kaolin clay which uh, adds some body to the paint and also controls its flow. And that's all ready now to be uh, milled at high speed in the capitation mill. It's wise to, uh, before we uh, stop the high speed uh, milling, that we just scrape the can to make sure that uh, the paint that sits the, on the side of the can is also ground. 
And uh, when I bring it back up to grinding speed, I uh, prepare about five millilitres of uh, pine oil. And uh, while it's grinding, I put the pine oil in there to break up any potential foaming that may have occurred during a high speed grind. So this is the stage that we've reached in the pigment grind and we are now uh, commencing with the let down. The let down is done at the slowest speed possible and we add uh, uh, an ammonia solution uh, to uh, form a pH buffer before the acrylic emulsion goes in. This is the acrylic emulsion which is measured to the right amount. Uh, of course preservative uh, for our uh, shelf life and then um, a pine oil uh, to control the foaming at this critical stage. And finally maybe it is necessary to adjust the viscosity of the paint with the addition of that acrylic thickener that we made before earlier in the presentation. At this stage we uh, check the viscosity of the paint and uh, if we need to make an adjustment on that we can use the, uh, the polyacrylate solution that we made before. However it is always best to leave the paint settle down for a while because it will get thicker as it stands. <laughs> 